Welcome to SoundersFC.com 1v1. I'm joined today by Roger Levesque. And Roger, thanks for joining us. How was the off season? Uh, great. Yeah, got to get spend some good time away, uh, away from the game of soccer, um, even though definitely still a student of the game. You know, watched a lot of EPL games. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it was good. It was a good time away. Um, good to visit with family, good to visit with friends. Um, went to a wedding. You know, the, uh, the soccer players, MLS players, uh, wedding season is, is the winter. Um, now I'm almost past it, you know, getting to the into my low 30s. Um, something Facito has to look forward to. And all his friends getting married, you know. So we know he's not anytime soon. <laughs> what is it, how have you changed uh, kind of your approach to, to each season, kind of as, you, as you've gotten into your 30s, like you said? Yeah, um, I think approach, yeah. Uh, approach still remains the same. You know, want to go out and, you know, obviously come in fit. Uh, Dave Tenney does a great job working with players in the off season, um, and spend uh, spend a lot of time with him. Um, you know, have that basis, and then you know, just kind of see where I fit in. You know, as far as that goes. Um, this year, obviously, a little bit different role um, with all the changes. Um, you know, one of the uh, you know definitely the older guys on the team. There's no question about that. Um, but just looking to, to make a good example, um, create a good example for the young guys, you know, whether it's in, you know, always coming to training and, and being sharp and switched on, uh, communication on the field, um, and then, you know, always putting in that little extra effort, you know, that hopefully, uh, you know, will rub off on some of the young guys and then they can be successful coming forward. You've always been one of the more fit guys anyway, coming in, beat tests and everything like that. You seem to blow right through them. But how much has Dave Tenney been able to change that uh, uh, kind of, fit his uh, fitness plans to you and kind of uh, what have you been able to improve on in the in those those times yeah uh, and now I, I think I owe owe my level of fitness to Dave Tenney there's no question about that um, you know I I think I would struggle to find the motivation myself if he weren't there every step of the way um, to really push me in the direction of, of being fit um, so big shout out to Dave Tenney um, I love you yep uh, <laughs> Um, but he's, I mean, he's always, he's always pushing guys. He's always, you know, looking for that edge. Um, you know, um, each year he's, you know, bringing new stuff to the table um, that I think will bring out the best in the players. Um, and, you know, and that's no different this year. He, uh, he, always, he always brings something new to the table and, you know, is always at the cutting edge of sort of what's new and what's next. And, um, and that's uh, one of the big, big reasons why we love Dave. Let's talk about the New York game here at home. Big moment for you. You get two goals in that game, but one where you end up on Sports Center at the year-end edition. Kind of what, what was that like for you? Kind of the 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 uh, the aftermath of that, seeing yourself on national television here. Uh, you know, several months after the fact. Yeah, I mean, I mean, completely unexpected. You know, at that point, wasn't really playing a whole lot. I think I'd been playing, you know, right back. You know, leading into that, and for whatever reason, um, found myself in in some good spots. Um, you know, fortunately, uh, you know, one of the, uh, you know, goalkeeper, you know, bad, tough feet, you know, whatever it was, you know, turf. Um, and then the whole scuba dive, um, which, uh, you know, <laughs> I'd practice once or twice leading into it. But, you know, I think. How do you <laughs> practice that? <laughs> you would be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fall may have been a little further than you expected, though. <laughs> well, that was actually relatively, you know, <laughs> Short distance than what we're used to, uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, you know, in the aftermath of it, it's you know I think it's it's good for the game. Um, definitely like a a talking point in uh, you know any sort of Sounder fan. You know, will see me. Hey, how you doing? You know, great season. I really love that scuba dive. I'm like, hey, nope. You know, glad I could you know entertain. No, but it was. I mean, obviously a spur of the moment thing, and um, it is what it is. It you know as long as it. Um, creates that energy and or helps you know you know move it along and keep the organization and keep that the city and that energy heading in the, the right direction then you know I think it's a I think it's a great thing you had that in the pirate face you had the, the the chopping down the tree down in Portland but the goals in between what was going on with those ones yeah I know huh <laughs> creative spark just wasn't wasn't flowing and uh, it tends to be a, a spur of the moment type thing um, you know not not something that you know, well, I guess the, cheap, the tree chop, the tree chop we planned. Um, but I mean, other than that, I don't know. 
Um, the other ones I just looked lost on. Yeah. You know, the good news is I don't score a whole lot, <laughs> and so I don't really have to worry about making up a whole lot of new celebrations. So where are you for this season? What, 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 do you, what are your goals, what are your hopes for the, for the 2012 season? Yeah, um, you know, just helping the team be more successful than, you know, than we have been in the past, I think. Um, you know, especially in this preseason, sort of, you know, integrating the new guys and helping in that process. Um, and then <clears throat> getting, you know, you know, helping get the team to the point where we're, you know, we're flying, we're, you know, we're um, being successful on the field. And, you know, regardless of what competition it is, um, I think that's the main goal. And I think that's what everyone, you know, is coming into this season thinking. Um, you know, as far as me personally, like, you know, whatever it, you know, whatever the season brings, you know, I'm, and I will put in the effort. I'll, I'll do what I can to help out. And, um, you know, regardless of what game I'm playing and whether it's a reserve game at right back or whether it's coming in and spelling, you know, one of the fours up top. And I'll just put my best foot forward and, and kind of go from there. How do you prepare for a season knowing that you, you may be preparing to play forward, you may be preparing to play right back? How do you prepare for so many different options uh, on the field? Yeah, just really trying to be the best soccer player that I can be. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's, I mean, it's all soccer. You know, it's uh, maybe, you know, subtle differences. I think I've definitely, like, you know, coming in this year, worked on my communication a little bit um, and sort of seeing the game and helping players out. And that's something I've never really had to do as a forward. Um, but definitely as you, you know, in the midfield and then especially, you know, playing the back um, is something that's really, I mean, it's important. You've got to be connected to your center back. You've got to be connected to your, you know, right midfielder and, um, and just, you know, doing my best to help everybody else out on the field. And that's something that I can work on in possession and, you know, in passing drills or, you know, kind of whatever it is. And so that's sort of a point of emphasis, I would say, for me. Um, you know, but wherever I end up on the field, it's, you know, it's still the same game. It's still connecting passes, good first touch. You know, you find yourself in a good spot, you know, be aggressive and, you know, try and kick the ball like Mike Facito. <laughs> and in the end, if you're going to be playing right back, you've got to teach those other guys some, uh, some goal celebrations too, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's Roger Levesque, <laughs> 1v1. Thanks for joining us right here on SoundersFC.com. Give your full 90 with the Sounders FC mobile app featuring live audio, match day blog and much more to keep you connected. Download your app at soundersfc.com mobile.